What's up guys, Alex here, welcome back to another video, hope you guys are feeling well and today I wanted to talk about the upcoming Electroid jailbreak for all of our devices. So we're really close to the release so that's why I'm making this video just to kind of prepare you guys for that jailbreak. So let's do this. First of all guys, this jailbreak will support the iOS 11.2 up to iOS 11.3.1 uh, firmwares. So you'll be able to jailbreak all of these firmwares if you have them uh, on your iPhone or iPad installed. Uh, next we have a progress bar. So if you go into this website, I'm gonna of course leave this one down below in the description, you will see this little countdown timer. I know there is no countdown like at all, but still we kind of get this idea where we are at uh, right now. So packaging, as you can see, we're here. So we're almost like two to three days away from the jailbreak. So is there a way to jailbreak iOS 11.4? Uh, for now, no. Uh, this jailbreak, as I said, only will support up to iOS 11.3.1 and there is no way now to downgrade to this firmware, unfortunately. Apple closed the window, so it's not uh, uh, longer available on the website and you'll not be able to downgrade your devices to iOS 11.3.1. So the way for, for you to go will be the maximum, the iOS 11.4, to wait for maybe another jailbreak, but that's a whole another story. Yes, Electro had a couple of problems before. First one is with the developer account. So previously, if you wanted to, you know, kind of install, if you are one of these developers and they wanted to install this jailbreak on their device, they had to purchase a $99 developer account because there was a problem with this entitlement that only was in this developer account. Now you no longer have to purchase this account to install that jailbreak. So this is one problem that was solved. And another one is uh, with the APFS. So IPFS is just another level of security for the iPhone 7 and up. So it was also, you know, kind of bypassed using their own APFS bypass, which uh, was written by all of them. So Electro Jailbreak should be a very stable jailbreak because uh, these guys want to kind of, you know, get this jailbreak up to this stage where they can release it to the public and everyone will be able to use it without many problems. So of course, uh, they are going to be also uh, getting the offsets for every single device that you guys own, the iPhone 5S, iPads, uh, <laughs> every single iPhone that you have. So you won't have any problems installing this. Yes, I will be making a tutorial, of course, as it gets released, I will be one of these few and maybe a first people uh, to show you guys the full tutorial on the jailbreak and maybe also showing you the better way uh, through, not through a computer, of course, but over the air from a website, which is much more convenient. And yes, I have the iPad Air 2 and iPhone 5S ready for the jailbreak on the iOS 11.3.1. And yeah, guys, I mean, that should be pretty much it for today. If you guys enjoyed this video and if you want to see more videos, like this one definitely be sure to smack the like button that will be super much appreciated also if you have any questions regarding the electro jailbreak please leave them down below in the comments section i'll be able to actually take a look at them and answer them in my next video anyways guys that's pretty much it hope you will have a great day and peace out